Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the format, but I'm in my bathroom and um, when I'm putting my phone sideways, it just doesn't seem to want to stay up. So this is the only way I can do it. Okay, so today I wanted to show, I don't know if any of you have noticed, it's very, very subtle, but I have been um, slowly trying to lighten up my hair um, a little bit. And I tried to bleach the one time, like on the ends here, which you can see it's a lot lighter. Um, and I did a couple of little pieces here but um, the bleach I can't stand the smell so I was trying to look for an alternate way of lightening it and I seen online some people um, that were using um, baking soda and hydrogen peroxide and that's how they've been uh, lightening their hair they leave it in a lot of them have been leaving it in for like an hour or something my hair is very fragile I don't want to leave it in that long so I've been doing it um, slowly and I leave it in for maybe like 15-20 minutes but I want to show you the process um, and how I do it okay so that's why my hair just looks like this because I need to take my shower wash my hair and I figured I may as well um, do this first and show you while I'm you know doing the process so okay it's just regular baking soda and 3% um, hydrogen peroxide um, you can get that at the at the pharmacy, even at the dollar stores. Um, I just eyeball it to make a paste. So you're just gonna put some um, baking soda and then you just put a bit and then mix it. And then if it's not a good um, pasty consistency, then you you know, you adjust it so loopy. You know, like it, just so that you can apply. Now the way I've been doing it, is I'm putting it in certain places. I don't know if you can see in this lighting, but like certain places have more light pieces than others. I don't wanna do my entire head. I've seen some people that do their entire head, but it can be very drying to the hair, first of all, but also um, sensitive to the scalp. I don't wanna do that. So I do it almost like I'm doing highlights. So what I do, um, you know to help it not to be so drying is I put um, some conditioner you can put any kind of conditioner but I save these tubes um, when I actually dye my hair and then I just use them you know cuz whatever now this one is uh, it has purple in it it's from uh, when I bleached my hair and this is actually kind of good because it's going to help um, the hair not to be so brassy you know while I'm doing it but also it's going to give a conditioning um, to it consistency that I want you know like really really thick but since the bottom's light I might actually do more of the bottom actually let's start with that so I usually just take it with my gloves so I'll kind of show you so I take some and then I'll just place it where I want like this. When I'm picking pieces, I just take single pieces, but where close it you don't care about because it will People drip. Use just peroxide, but I like putting the baking soda and I now have it all over my pants. Let me do this. I'm going to try and brush it on. Maybe that'll be The little. baking soda kind of like opens up the cuticle or something and helps the peroxide deposit it. I've seen some people um, putting foil on after. I'm not going to do that. I want to monitor it. I don't want to overheat my hair. Okay, so I put some on the bottoms. So now I'm going to, oh my god, I'm already a friggin mess. I've got it all over my pants, all over the floor. <laughs> oh, the things we do for beauty. Okay, so I'm just going to pick random, I don't pick very big pieces, I just take, you know, thin little pieces. I'm going to work over the sink here, it makes more sense, right? So I do it as if I'm putting um, highlights in my hair. This is on the top here, so I'm just going to use my hand, forget the brush. And 
And when you mix it with the conditioner, I find it a little bit easier to wash it out. And also because you're not putting a lot, you know, like the people that I've seen that put the whole thing in their hair, it looks like they're having issues washing it out later. Like it's messy, you know? I mean, look at it. It's clumpy. It's dry. It's baking soda for goodness so sake. I'm just doing a few little pieces because I did do this already before. Um, I like to put some in the front here too. I do have a few pieces that I already did, but let's try some more. I'm sure if you could find a less messy way, it would be nicer, but this seems to work. There, the front I'll put, but then I'm gonna clip these back because I really don't want peroxide in my eyeballs. So, Let's do this. Oh yes, beauty queen. <laughs> but it doesn't smell, that's what I like. It makes a mess, a really big mess, but it doesn't smell. And I usually do this a um, couple of days to a week before I know I have to dye my roots. Like if you can see my roots are coming in. Because in case if when I do this, there's pieces that I'm like, ooh, I don't like where it is, or it looks too orangey. I can always go over it, you know, with this my hair This is dye. a way to do it at home if you can't afford it. But what does it cost? You know, like a dollar something for, let me do this dark piece, for um, each item, you know? And they're easily accessible. And like I mentioned, you don't have a gross smell. Like if I, if this was bleach right now, I'd be freaking out and wanting to get it. Like I w I'd want to rinse it right away. Cause I can't handle, I'm very sensitive to smells and the smell of bleach is just disgusting. As I'm doing this, um, I noticed that, um, the baking soda does dry up and it like falls in pieces like that, you know? So it's like, do it in your bathroom or outside even if you can, cause it's just, it's just bloody messy. It's really messy. I don't know if you can see it clumping off. It's like mashed potatoes or something. <laughs> it looks so weird. Uh, let me just put a little bit here. It's a little bit dark there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do my floors like I'm getting all these little clumps just falling all over the place. But it's baking soda. It's not going to hurt anybody. Well, and peroxide. I guess if you have dark hardwood floors, maybe you want to protect it. I don't know. I don't know what it would do to it, but disclaimer, let's protect everything. You know, put something underneath you, protect your clothing, wear old clothes, protect your skin. Those are the most important things. My towel is coming off. I look like I've been in a bakery and like a cake exploded on me. <laughs> My pants are full. As I'm I mentioned, you. I have done this before a few times. Um, just to see if it really works and it does. It's subtle though. Like you're not going to see me as a blonde, you know? But this lightens, but also like removes um, hair dye. Let me see. <laughs> I'm gonna set a timer. Clean my floors. Um, wash my hair and uh, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you the results after. Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so I kept my phone in this format since my um, original video was in this format as well. That way it's not gonna screw it up. All right, so here's the results. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter on the bottom. There are some spots that became also a little bit lighter. Again, it's very, very subtle. I'm doing this very slowly, but you can see some lighter spots here and there. Um, because it looked, when I was, I don't know where to look. <laughs> I don't think the camera's up there, but um, 
when I um, dye my hair sometimes, like it ends up making it look black, you know? So I've been trying, like you can still see some really dark spots, but that's the whole purpose of doing this is to lighten it and lighten it gently and slowly. So for those of you who wanna try this, make sure that you deep condition afterwards. Do not leave it in your hair for very long. Like I do it about 20, 25 minutes maximum each time. I think some people have put it like 30 minutes, even an hour if you you know wanna look at other videos, but I honestly wouldn't leave it in that too, too long. I would not put the foil because that's just creating heat and it's going to, yeah, lighten it, but if you leave it in too long, it's also gonna make your hair fall out. Also, do not do it too often, like right away. You know, wait, like the last time I did this was about, I don't know, maybe a month, a month and a half ago. Because I've seen this one girl who was doing it every day for, I think it was like seven or nine days, and her hair started falling out. And you don't want that. Like if you notice my hair um, remains healthy and shiny because I, you know, and I curl it, I blow dry it, I curl it. So, it, you know, and I dye it. It's not like I don't use products on my hair. I'm just very careful about how I do things as well. And also, okay, so when my hair is damp, um, I put on the Tresemme Keratin Smooth. Um, this stuff is really good. It's an oil. You can also put it on your hair um, dry, but you know you want to just use it sparingly because it, you know it could end up making it look oily. And then before I even blow dry my hair or curl it, or if I use a flat iron or whatever, um, I use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protection Spray. Now it doesn't have to be this brand. Any heat protection spray, you should always put it on, always, because it's gonna help uh, protect your hair from the high heat of all of these uh, tools. Um, I like the Tresemme products because they just, they smell so good and they make my hair feel really um, healthy and shiny. I use different products, you know, but um, I make sure that that's part of my uh, hair regimen. I guess you would call it. Now, I didn't use this today because I don't know if it's going to be harsh on my hair. And, you know, since I did um, put the peroxide and uh, baking soda, um, I'm going to wait. But in between doing my hair, I will use um, a purple shampoo. This is the Aussie brand. And it helps to cut the brassiness. I know some people might say, oh, but it still looks a little orangey and stuff. And I really don't mind the red hair. It just, it cuts like that really horrible, like Bozo the Clown kind of orange brassiness. Um, so I use that, um, you know, maybe once a week, once every two Now weeks. also, um, the hair will start to get a little bit lighter and lighter each time you, you do um, the peroxide and the uh, baking soda. Some people actually just spray a mixture of peroxide and water on their hair and they sleep with it and uh, you know, they lighten it like that. I don't wanna do that because I do not wanna leave that in my hair all night. And then also if it touches my face, it's gonna you know burn my skin and stuff. I'm a very sensitive person, so I don't wanna do that. But I have noticed like in some spots, I don't know if you can really see it that well on the camera here, but when I'm out in the sun, like, or the more I, I put the heat, like the blow dryer or the curling iron, it does seem to be getting slightly lighter to me. So again, this is a very subtle way of doing it, unless you leave it in your hair for like a few hours, you know, like I've seen some people do, and then it's gonna totally lighten up your hair, but it's not gonna make it white. <laughs> Trust me, everybody that I've seen, it looks very, very orangey but their hair was also super, super dry and brittle. And if you do not want that, I suggest do it the healthy, um, slow, gentle way that I do. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light on here for you. So like I put some here, um, I put some here. You know, you can see some of them, like some of the little light um, parts that I had put but um, yeah see because it used to look black this used to actually look black 
So it is actually doing something. Um, and I'm happy with it, you know. Eventually I wouldn't mind um, getting professional highlights or even doing it this way if I can and have it look really, really cool and a nice dimension and stuff. But for now, I just, I wanted to do what I could afford, number one, what was uh, easy to access and, um, you know, an easy process without harsh chemical smell. And I think this is something that I'm enjoying doing. So if you want to go ahead and try it, you see that it does work very subtly. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this and how it worked for you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.